Okay. I don't know exactly where I'm at. Oh, there's parking at Chino. I remember that. I think this might be parking at Arte or something. Art Park. I don't know. Spent like the last hour and a half trying to connect to Wi-Fi. When I connected to Wi-Fi, I tried to add money to my account, my Kui account, C-U-Y, which I highly advise you not to get, which is the first SIM card they try to sell you as you uh, as you arrive in, in, uh, in Lima. It's absolute trash, guys. It's terrible. They charge you 50 soles for unlimited minutes and calling, which you never use, because who are you going to call? And then any place that 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 uh that requires you to call or message they use whatsapp which requires cell phone data which it was just a joke and you got to keep adding 20 soles 20 soles 20 soles you, you just end up spending way too much it's ridiculous anyways if i had more time i would go down there and learn how to surf but I do not and I am uh, attempting to go paragliding if that's a name for it uh, the ones with not those ones off in the distance I don't think um, ones without a motor absolutely petrified but uh, I'm gonna try it. <laughs> what kind of gives me comfort is knowing that, like, I think even if the the, the chute, the parachute, or whatever it fails, that it won't be a straight. Well, it might be a straight drop down, but it will not be a a super fast drop down. I'm thinking the parachute, even if it malfunctions or twists or whatever it's gonna slow my falling down <laughs> we can i can only hope oh yeah so where i went and uh hooked up to the wi-fi i went to mcdonald's literally because i figured that they would have wi-fi and they let you hook up they did it was kind of a hassle but Yeah, uh, just some random information. Um, in fact, McDonald's costs more than the majority of the uh, like regular restaurants you're gonna shop at, which is crazy. Crazy. For a burger, fries, and a drink, it's like 21, 25 um, soles. And up 30 soles. There's even more. I've seen stuff for like 56 soles. I don't know what all included, but yeah, that's crazy. I'm not about to spend that for a burger. It's a fries. I probably didn't even cook. I've had nothing but bad experience with all the fries here, guys. I ordered a plate today. Some chicken, some broster chicken. It's french fries. French fries, once again, just... Yes, just raw. I went to a restaurant the other day. Yo, let me get the uh, French fries. Extra, being freaked, extra, extra, extra fries. I said, okay. Just, just freaking soggy, guys. We're not even gonna go look at that outlook because I'm trying to, I'm trying to uh, go with this paraglider, parachute, whatever it is. Yeah, we're in uh, Mita Flotis, by the way. I don't know if this is called the La, La Comar. I, I know we're on the Malacon. The Malacon is this whole cliff that runs perpendicular to the, the ocean, the highway and the ocean there. Yeah, so I wanted to rent scooters like that. And that's why I really wanted to hook up to the internet. 
but yeah, I couldn't. So then I went back to McDonald's, hooked on Wi-Fi and got a hold of these guys through WhatsApp, my company, my phone company, um, cause they don't accept regular messages for some reason. Um, yeah, and they, they can't help me out. So I just spent all that money for nothing. And my time. Like I said, they're not worth it. They don't even, you can't even message them with your unlimited minutes. You gotta, you gotta use WhatsApp. What a backwards, what a backwards company. I don't know what it's like in other parts of the world, but in North America, 50 bucks to get unlimited everything including hotspot hook up to all the devices you want unlimited come on man See them? some stuff they just don't offer over here columbia is bad too terrible it's little stuff like that 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 just leaves a distaste in my mouth. And drives me to never want to come back and visit the country. Inconvenient stuff. I don't care how great of stuff a place offers, if the little stuff it's super inconvenient. Uh, I ain't with it. Not interested. Nice little skate park. Ooh, a little bike ramp. That's cool. Yeah, so as far as my knowledge, as far as the Malacone, like I said, which is this cliff area here, this is the only area that actually has trees and the greenery. I think I shot another video. Um, geez, it's more towards my neighborhood. It's uh, San Isidro, San Isidro, Parque San Isidro maybe, but it's in San Isidro um, neighborhood nonetheless, but they got, they got trees recently planted and a little bit of grass. They're trying to start something like this, but this is the only place, to my knowledge, that's ex that has established a greenery foliage in a park. There you go. There's a there's a place for sale. Se vende. There's their WhatsApp number. Hit them up. Right here, these guys are parked. It's their parking area. I'm not sure if it's for the residents or for the people at the park. But, uh, no, I'm assuming them people in buildings like that that usually have parking, underground parking. There you go. It's a nice little area some pull-up bars some dip bars man I'm just trying to find this parachute guy paraglide thing I've seen him once before man it was so I was either back there it's in front here but he was just on a little grassy area. I don't think it's tandem. I didn't really pay attention, but I think basically you just throw a backpack on with a uh, with a paraglider, a parachute. I don't know what it's called, but I'm gonna do it. If it's like a hundred soles or under. I'll do it. I'll do it. 
if I got at least 200 soles in my pocket and it's under 100 soles, I would do it. Huh. Hey, look, see the hands and the grass. There goes a flower. Oh, check it out. You guys ever familiar with the Nazca lines in the desert? The, uh, the shapes that got drawn out in the sand that are thousands of years old that you can see from the sky. I think that replicates it over there and in fact you know these probably actually well that definitely that bird thing that definitely is a replicate um so i'm assuming all these are i think the nazca lines are a couple hours south of here by vehicle maybe six seven hours It's the neighborhood though, Mira Flores, which everybody, all the foreigners brag about and talk about. Hmm. Okay, guys. I wish this was a, uh, a little more interesting of a walk, but it's a it's some content nonetheless that someone hopefully gets some use out of. Habibis, Habibis, it's like Habibi. Ven a disfrutar. Middle Eastern or something? Yeah, it is. Shawarma. Why not? Why not? Pitas, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -uh. I'm sure it costs a arm and a leg. There you go, guys. I think that's some like lacrosse or some hockey it's hockey i never seen it that's hockey it's got like i don't even know how to explain it it's some sort of hockey well they're like hockey sticks but the uh the paddle at the end that you hit the ball with is very 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 small it's like the size of a uh, tennis ball with maybe a two inch, two inch, um, uh, what's it called? Two inch space in between the actual stick, the, the, the top of the, the bottom of the stick and then the, uh, the paddle. So the paddle's like, maybe like three, four inches in total. I don't know how to explain it. There's, there's this guy. That's 200 soles. I got the card back in the room. They take off from um, way over there, which is where I live. Uh, Magdalena del Mar area, right in between San Isidro and uh, yeah, I forgot the other neighborhood next to me, but yeah, it's night next to there. Okay. Let's see here. Look at the waves over here. They're just, just weak. No wonder why everybody comes over here to learn how to surf. Some things are powerful where I'm at. 
so powerful I'm actually I was actually scared to jump in the two times I had attempted to. Jeez, my renter. Oh, there it is. Look, there it is. Oh, no, it's not. That's that's a motorized one. My renter, she told me she's going to let me use her bike about two weeks ago, but then she told me, oh, she'll have to do it at a later time. She's taken off to Europe. So here I am almost three weeks in. No bike. I was excited. Just crappy. <laughs> oh, here comes a clown. Yeah, guys, I don't see. <laughs> The guy I was looking for, the paraglider. You know, that must have been way back there. Huh. I think it was. Jeez, at least. Oh well. Meet a vet. Must be for veterans. Well. Come rent a bike though. Yeah, the, the bikes though, they say, they say meet a float is on them, so I'm, I think you're limited to where you can drop them off at again, to return them. Or re I don't know if it's technically a return if you're re if you're bringing it, delivering it to another location. But they, I do have multiple oh, bike rack stands for those rent of bikes. You, huh? Yeah, I think just about every time I went to the ocean down by me there in uh, Magdalena del Mar, I've seen multiple dolphins swimming on their backs and come surfacing right side up. A lot of fish, a lot of fish. That guy's cruising, dude. You see, it's not actually solid rock cliffs like it appears. It's um, it's powder, compact powder, some old bricks, and some pebble stones just covered by a a nylon or a, some sort of net. Him to throw it. Throw it. Throw the damn thing. Yeah, that guy. Cruising. Cruising with a big old tube of something out of his backpack. Ooh.
<sighs> oh. Okay, so remember when I was talking about how uh, San Isidro was right next to me, Magdalena del Mar, and how we are in Miraflores. Check it out. I'm assuming this is where it ends. See, usted está aquí. You are here. Okay. Malacones. So the Malacon is the whole cliff area. You see? over there San Isidro and luego there's San Isidro is, uh, is my neighborhood um Magdalena del Mar I must admit though, it is, it is a nice area. The Malacón, how they have the uh, walking and the bike paths. Look, you could take that way around too. I don't know where it needs to. But hey. Parque Bicentario. I wonder if Bicentario has anything to do with a bike. I don't know, Bicicleta, maybe not. Maybe it is just a name. Huh. You see distinctly marked. Oh, this one's got some, uh, some padding to it, guys. Soft. Definitely nice and breezy and cool up here. Oh, check it out. This is actual real bamboo. Huh. This side, no. It is wood though. San Isidro. Okay. So, San Isidro is actually where I, when I take off for my my runs, my jogs, I, I uh, turn around in San Isidro and head back. I always turn around somewhere around there, I think. Uh -oh. Okay, so that Bicentario Park is that. That's what that is. Good for the kiddos, good for the children. Well, I'm into rock climbing with padding. The rocks aren't uh, rocks, they're actually pits like padding. Like this stuff I'm walking on. And uh, some ball games, some sort of courts. Oh, yeah. You know? See that Peru 2021. Here's here's uh the other part of that Bicentario part. I guess kids can or anybody can roller skate or ride their bike. Interesting.
Yeah, this has got to be the most, yeah. other than like the farmer's fields, this has got to be the greenest little stretch of area or it land in all of Peru. Oh, yeah. I mean, all of uh, Lima. Oh, that guy was screaming. Jeez, I'm hungry. They got a, a soccer field over there. They got soccer fields over there in Sunny Sea that are too down there by the towards the ocean. Well The entrance is free. Look, it just keeps going. Wow, well, shit, let's just go. Let's go. I'm sure anybody who's watching this video is either uh, just letting it play because they don't want to change it or that are actually really interested in it. <laughs> oh yeah. It's nice guys, this is nice. Uh Think about um, think about the grass areas. I would highly advise not to go lay in it. <laughs> what do you think all those people's dogs do in that grass? And it doesn't rain here, so well, I guess they do water the grass, but yeah, it doesn't wash away the feces and the urine. They got sprinklers like that, I guess. She can't tell me that every one of them people after sitting down there now have feces or urine on their body. Come on. See the uh, islands off in the distance, distant, distance. I think it's like a hundred, two hundred dollars, or maybe it's like two sixty for uh, so a three-hour tour out there or something like that. I'm definitely not worth it. Tell you right now the locals aren't doing it i think they take you out there and you are able to see uh, a bunch of seals which uh you can see those down by the ocean too heck you go over there to Callao, you walk on them, them beaches you, you you'll you'll see a bunch of them close you'll even see a bunch of dead ones washed up on the uh, shore As you can see, it's a very safe and chill city. This all looks kind of new, the construction, I don't know. Then again, it's a desert, you know, so things, uh, 
things last a long time. Nice. Even got a little secure non Nazgo. Said in Nazgo is like they're like police officers, but they're not. I don't. They drive around and get in it. And in cars with their lights flashing, they got whole departments like police departments. They drive around on motorcycles. Well, they got a homeless cat. But I don't think they carry guns. You actually see way more of them. They're, they're way more numerous than the police officers. For example, I've seen the effects of a, uh, a vehicle accident, a moped in a car. And there must have been 20 set in Nazgos. Um, attending it some were heading to there some were already there and then I kept walking a couple blocks and then I seen actual two real officers coming on police officers coming on their motorcycles <laughs> this is weird you would think that the city's going to employ some sort of officers that there would be more actual police officers I don't know. Very odd. Oh, we're called park here. This might even be, let's see. Plastic, oh, those are recycling bins. There goes an electric scooter, which are very common here. There we go. There's this soccer fields down there. I was telling you about that are in sunny sea. There, see, look. I don't know if those guys are police officers, but they got um. They all have uh. They always walk around, or they just they're posted up in corners with Rottweilers. Some with muzzles, some with not. I don't know if they're trained to attack, but. Well, I've officially been walking for about, oh, three hours now. Crazy, man. Let's see what we got here for a view. Okay. I think that fellow was about to smoke some reefer. See, there's the, the a set at Nazgo, the security guard peoples. Yeah. They drive around with their lights on. I've been told they do it in Europe too, but. Definitely not where I'm from. They try to catch you slipping. Oh, check out these cactuses, guys. So they start off with just this green flesh, but then they're, they're uh, I don't know if it would be considered a stalk, but the bases of them, they start to turn into bark, like wood. Crazy, huh? I know, I thought it was crazy. Well, see? There goes another one. He's got his, he came on his bicycle. I, uh, I think I'm gonna end this video now, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Ciao.